had wickets in hand and have been up around the 300 mark. And there's four for a start. Very nice way to start too. Pitched up on off stump and uh, we know Gilchrist, he doesn't need uh, more than one invitation to have uh, a bit of a go. Played the first ball straight back down the pitch and then got this one slightly wide and, uh, oh boy, got stuck into that. Oh, well bowled and uh, that too is in the back a little bit but he's uh, lucky. He's managed to get an inside edge on it and uh, it's gone flying away to find leg for four. Oh, and that, that smashed through the offside for four. Dead straight down the ground. Lovely shot again. Well, are we going to be entertained to one of those little uh, Gilchrist classics? End of the last ball of the third. Into the gap again. Oh, no, it was not quite into the gap that time. In the air and for four again. Twelve runs off the over. Five fours to Gilchrist so far. It's no wicket for 24. Next time, four more to Adam Gilchrist. He's in brilliant form. It's a matter of whether he can keep it going long enough to challenge this big Indian score. Well, the wicket's been consistent, coming through nicely, so the Australians are playing shots just as brashly as the Indians did in compiling the 297. Hits the seam, good bounce. Don't worry about it being so far outside off. Beautiful timing. This ground is lightning fast. It's cleared mid on. And once it clears the infield, you can't track it down. Most. Well, it's thunder with the bat as well. That's a big one. It's another example of a good ball going for six. Got it swinging at Jidagurka. Swung it right into the wrong area. Very deep mid-wicket. Brilliant stroke play. The seventh over is finished. Australia needing runs, one for 58. But it's been good so far. Oh, too much width there and see you later. I bet all the fielders in the offside have just said, thank heavens he picked the gap. Men rushing to the assistance of the bowler. Ganguly and Dravid both talking to Balaji. There's nothing much he can do with that. He's probably trying to keep it wide in the hope of an outside edge or a mistimed shot into those cover fielders, but sorry. That's the glove. I think that would be 50. Adam Gilchrist will wait for Daryl Harper. No signal from him, and that's 50. Adam Gilchrist, and well, what a 50 it's been. It's, it's probably taken two hours, <laughs> but an hour and a half it's been sitting in the sheds. 50, ball, 50 runs and 31 deliveries faced. Nine fours and a six. That's well, beautifully timed. No slip. That's four. Oh, that's four more. His timing is impeccable. One for 112. Yeah, let's look at it. Oh, he's hit that well. Right into the gap. Oh, brilliantly struck. Well, I think that's one of the features of uh, Gilchrist's game is the incredible timing. I mean, he's obviously strong, but boy, that was timed beautifully. Placement was so good. There are two men out there at uh, deep forward, deep backward square. He's kept it down. He's rolled his wrists on it. He knew precisely where he had to hit it. Just past Steve Buckner's left ear. Oh, and he's got it away fine. That's four. Well, he looked to me as if he was trying to steer it in that direction. Cut! 
Oh, and he's got him, he's out, caught and bowled, that's beautifully taken. Absolutely magnificently done. Gilchrist down the wicket, driving very firmly. Murali Kartik has got it to turn just a little bit. And uh, it's come whistling back at him, and he has taken a beautiful catch. This is clever cricket. Murali Kartik's bowled well. A little bit of moisture there make it difficult to hold the ball, but he hasn't pushed the ball through. On the contrary, he's given it plenty of air. It doesn't matter which batsman's been up the other end. He's always on the lookout for the court and bold, and he's picked up Gilchrist now for 95 from 72 balls. And we have a very interesting little contest on our hands here, 4 for 154.